forgot. I think I also became a Sunday school student. Uh, anyways, uh, it was fun, right? Me fui a Theo. Okay, and uh, uh, truly, uh, this uh, Sunday school is very important. Hakika, shule a Sunday school ni muhimu sana. Also in the church, I grew up in the church since the Sunday school. Na mimi ni melelewa kanisani tangu Sunday school. And uh, the uh, song and the word which I learned from Sunday school has really changed my life as well. Na nyimbo, na neno ambalo nilisoma kule Sunday school imebadilisha maisha yangu. Yes, uh, every uh, break and that our Sunday school students have, we are going to have a camp. Uh, kila wakati, wanafunzi wetu wa Sunday school wakiwa likizoni, kita kwa na camp. Because as we were doing the Sunday school uh, camp, one thing that I realized was that our Sunday school kids, uh, they don't know the gospel. Uh, tulipofanya kampu niliona wanafunzi wetu wa Sunday school hawana inji, awajui inji. And I really inji. feel very important and that all of our students are children and they have learned this gospel. Nikaona ni jambo la muhimu watoto wetu wote wasome hii injili. Okay, anyways, a lot of time passed. Let us open to the book of Genesis uh, chapter 3. Muda umeenda, tufungue mwanzo mlango wa tatu. Genesis chapter 3. Mwanzo mlango wa tatu. Starting from verse 1. Kwanzi ya mstari wa kwanza. Verse 1, now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, has God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, we uh, may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. For God knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took of its fruit and ate. She also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. We're up to verse 6. Atumesoma hadim stari wa sita. Today, Sister Anne testified. Leo, Dada Ann ameshuhudia. Yes, one time we were having a sister leaders meeting. Tulikuwa na mkutano wa viongozi wa kina Dada. And then we had a session to ask freely any question. Tukawa na kipindi cha kuuliza maswali kwa uhuru. And then she asked this one question. Haka uliza swali hili. Pastor, Chungaji. My heart is being difficult. Mwe wangu uko na ugumu. I said, sister, why are you difficult? Mwe zambona una ugumu dada? Because, you know, whenever I listen to online seminar, Pastor Park's sermon, Kwa sababu kila mara katika online mtandaoni nikisikei, I feel like Pastor Park is talking the same. Naona naongea kile kile. When I heard that, I kind of smiled. Nilipo sikia, nikataba samtu. And because I realized that that thought was not only in me, but also in her. Maana nikagundua, kumbe hilo wazo haliko ndani yangu tu, na yeye pia. Whenever Pastor Park started speaking about, there was one young man who went to Liberia as a GNC. Kila mara, mchunga jipaka kianza kusema kuna kijana lienda Liberia kama GNC. As soon as I hear that introduction in my heart, I'm thinking, he's going to speak about John Choi. Nikisikia utangulizi huo na jua, anenda kuongea kusu John Choi. If I hear that one more time, nikisikia hiyo mara moja nyingine, it is my 1,000th time that I'm hearing that story. Itakuwa sasa nimesikia mara karibu elfu moja hadithi hiyo. And then pastor he says, let us open to John chapter 8. Lafu mchungaji anasema, tufungue Yohana nane. Oh my God, the pastor will speak about the woman who was caught in the act of adultery again. Mungu wangu, mchungaji anenda kuongea mwanamuki alifu maniwa tena. Now he also speaks about the letters open to 2 Kings chapter 7. You no, know, we had a prison's, uh, prison's mind lecture uh, last week, right? That time, Pastor Park, he spoke about 2 Kings chapter 5, about General Naaman. But also, during CLF, I heard Pastor going like, let us open to 2 Kings chapter 5. What kind of thought did it come arise in your heart? Oh, he read the same thing yesterday. Rajan, if you thought like that. Yes. If you're not raising your hand, it means you didn't come 
online on CLF. Kama ujenga mkono ina maana haukuja kwa CLF. Oh, maybe he's going to talk the same thing. Labda ataongelea lile lile. So You know, as we are listening to the word, we often feel like he is talking the same. Mara nyingi tunadhani anaongea kitu kimoja. Everyone, why do you think you are having that kind of a heart arising in you? Monaje, ni nini kinafanya moyo kama huo uibuke ndani yenu? Because we all live our life thinking that I know the word. Kwa sababu sote tunaishi tukifikiria ninajua neno. About John Choi, I know that word. Neno la John Choi nalijua. Hey about the preaching the gospel to the Ghanaian president I know that word. Kuhusu kumhubiria rais wa Ghana najua neno hilo. John chapter 5 I know that word. Yohana 5 najua neno hilo. John chapter 8 I know that word. Yohana 8 najua neno John hilo. John chapter 15 I know that word. Yohana 15 najua yes, neno everyone, hilo. Yes everyone you might know that word. Labda wajua neno hilo. But do you know accurately? Na je unajua usahihi? You don't know accurately. How li jui kwa usahihi? Everyone, learning the word accurately is a very important. Kujifunza neno kwa usahihi ni muhimu sana. If you don't know it accurately, kama how li jui kwa usahihi? It is as the same as not knowing the word at all because if you don't know the word accurately, that word cannot work as a power in your life. Ni sawa na kutojua neno kwa sababu kama how li jui vizuri, haliwezi kuwa na nguvu maishani mwako. When the word is not in you accurately, then Satan is going to take that as an opportunity in your heart. Neno kama haliko ndani yako kwa usahihi, shetani atachukua fursa kama hiyo ndani yako. Yes, not knowing the word 100% accurately is as good as not knowing the word at all, maybe even worse. Kutojua neno asilimia kwa mia ni sawa na kutojua na hata labda ni mbaya zaidi. Before COVID-19, I used to visit the branch church, you know, every week. Kabla ya corona, nilikuwa naenda kwa matawi ya makanisa kila wiki. You know, when I go, nilipoenda you know, I visit you know Kitale kwa natembelea Kitale you know, Kimahuri Kimahori Mbasa Mbasa Kisumu Kisumu Naro Narok yes so all Kalao all Kalao Migori Migori pia yes, Kehancha Kehancha even Kuria na Kuria I visit those places kwa natembelea sehemu hizo you know if I go by myself nikienda mwenyewe you know In, uh, except the major you know cities i will not know like you know kuria you know the very villages you understand right isipokuwa miji mikubwa singejua sehemu kama kuria au mashambani kule you know when you drive your car Uh, I don't know the direction very well. I will stop the car. And then I will lower the window. And ask somebody for the direction. There's this one common thing that I realized. Although they don't know. No one says they don't know. Have you realized that? When you ask for direction they got to say something. Ukiuliza njia wanajidai lazima One time I lowered the window. Nikiteremsha dirisha. I saw a man walking. Kaona mtu akitembea. Excuse me sir. Hebu kidogo bwana. Can I ask you one question? Naomba nikuulize swali. I am going so and so. Naenda fulani wa fulani. Yes, I want uh, can you tell me how to, how to go there? Waweza kunielekeza kufika pale? And then he said Oh you you follow this road 50 kilometers Kisha wanasema nenda hii njia kilomita 50 and then uh, you will see a cow Alafu <laughs> <laughs> He forgot You will see a cow Utaona <laughs> ngombe And then uh, you make a right turn Alafu geuke kulia And then uh, you go about uh, seven or five kilometers Alafu ende kilomita 7 5 And then uh, when you see a monkey Ukio, Ukiona tumbili You make a left turn Uende kushoto And then one kilometer later Alafu kilomita moja baadaye You see a big tree Uone mti mkubwa Yes uh, that's the place Hapo ndio pale I realize right away I, this guy doesn't know Kagundua mara ah huyu nikujua hajui And so I went a little bit more. Kwa nikaenda pale mbele kidogo. And then I asked. Nikauliza. And then he said something similar to that too. Akasema kitu karibu na hicho pia. Often times, mara nyingi, although they don't know, they don't say I don't know. Ingawa hawajui, hawasemi hawajui. They say something. Wanasema kitu. The moment I heard cow, I was like, ah, it is he doesn't know. Niliposikia ngombe nikasema, ah, huyu hajui. Even although we don't know the word accurately, ingawa hujui neno vizuri, Satan puts the thought inside of us believing that I know. Shetani hutia moyo ndani yetu kwa that thought I know is like cancer in our heart. 
Wazo hilo kwamba najua ni saratani moyoni mwetu. Turn to your neighbor and tell them, I know it's like a, it's like a cancer. I know it's like a cancer. I know it's like a cancer. Everyone, there are so many people going to church out there. Everyone, did they all accurately receive salvation? No. La. Is that right? Sinikweli. Yes, why? Bona. Is it because they don't know Jesus? Ni kwa sababu hawamjui Yesu. You go ask them about Jesus, they know Jesus. Ukiuliza kuhusu Yesu, wanamfahamu. They know blood of Jesus. Wanajua damu ya Yesu. Yes, they know that Jesus came as a savior. Wanajua Yesu alikuja kama mwokozi. But why can't they go to heaven? Lakini mbona wasiende mbinguni? Yes, because they know those things. Wanajua mambo hayo. But ila do they know gospel accurately? Wanajua inji so not knowing the gospel accurately is as the same as not knowing it at all which leads them to hellfire. Kutojua injili vikamili ni sawa na kutojua inawapeleka jehanamu si ndio? Imagine. Hebu fikiria. Because they have the thought thinking that I know Jesus. Kwa sababu wanafikiria ninamjua Yesu. They don't even try to know. Hawataki hata kujaribu kujua. And now that mind that they don't even try to know because they think they know and that that's what it is killing us like a cancer in our spiritual life. Na huo moyo hawataki kujaribu maana wanafikiria wanajua inatuua kama saratani maishani mwetu. But when you believe that I don't know. Lakini ukiamini sijui. Oh, I know that story about preaching the gospel to the president of Ghana. Najua hiyo hadithi kuhusu kumhubiria rais wa Ghana injili. Okay, let me ask you. Then when did when did that happen? Which year did that happen? Basi nikuulize ilifanyika li, mwaka gani hiyo? Mwaka gani? Which year did that happen? Ilifanyika mwaka gani? <coughs> Which year did that happen? Ilifanyika mwaka gani jambo hilo? Which year did that happen? Let me come down. <laughs> Which year did that happen? I don't know, Pastor. Do you know that story about president preaching the gospel to Ghanaian president? Yes. Do you know? Yes. Which year did that happen? I don't know accurately. <laughs> during the time, it happened during this one function in Ghana. Sindio? Yes. What was the name of that function? I don't know. <laughs> How many people attended that function? I don't know. How many Grasha's choir followed accompanied Pastor Park? Um, maybe six. <laughs> Which song did they sing? Yes, who... Yes, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. After Pastor Parker left the president's office, in how many years, uh, how many hours later did His Excellency pass away? In how many hours? I don't know. What do you know? <laughs> I think that, that could be faster. Sindio, uh, what do you know? I don't know anything. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know what you know. Until I asked a question like this. Hadini muulize swali hivi. Yes, he thinks he. Anadhani anajua. He knows. Is that right? Sindio. So when Pastor Park says, so in the year 2012, I went to Ghana and to preach the gospel during the world camp. Kwa yu mchungaji Park anaposema mwaka 2012 nilipoenda Ghana kuhubiri World Cup. By the way, he thinks. Wakati huo anafikiria. Oh my God, I know that story. Ah, you are naikumbuka. Would you think like that or not? Like that, yes. Yes. Ndiyo. But what do you know? Nothing. But you think you, you thought you knew, Sindio? Yes. Why? Kwa nini? Although he doesn't know anything about that story, you know, we live with a vague mindset, thinking and believing that I know something. Now that thought I know is like a cancer in our heart, killing us. Because I think I know, I am not even trying to learn accurately. Everyone, 
kila mtu how can you gain the accurate faith in your heart utapataje imani kamili moyoni mwako how do you, let's think about how we were able to gain the accurate faith for the gospel in our heart tufikirie utapataje imani kamili kwa ajili ya injili moyoni how Vipi? How were you able to accurately believe in the word? Believe Uli, in the gospel in your heart. Ulipataje kuamini injili kwa ukamili moyoni mwako? How you got to have uh, believe in the accurate gospel in your heart? Ulifikiaje kuamini hiyo injili moyoni mwako? Accurate information gives you accurate faith. Ufahamu kamili unakupatia imani kamili. Everyone is that right? Si ni kweli? When you hear the gospel accurately, unaposikiza injili kwa ukamilifu, would there be anyone who can say I am a sinner? Kuna mtu atasema yeye ni mwenye dhambi? Then why so many people they say that I am a sinner? Mbona watu wengi wanajiita wenye dhambi? Because kwa sababu they have never heard the accurate gospel in their hearts. Hawajawahi kusikia injili kamili moyoni mwao. Everyone if you hear the accurate gospel, ukisikia injili kamili, you cannot help but have the accurate faith for the gospel inside of your heart. Utakuwa huna budi ila kupata imani kamili kuhusu injili moyoni. But in our mwako. spiritual life, lakini katika maisha ya rohoni, we never try to learn accurately. Hatujaribu kujifunza kwa ukamili. We never try to listen accurately. Hatujaribu kujifunza kwa ukamilifu. Because you will receive the thought by Satan which Satan has put inside of you. Kwa sababu mmepokea wazo ambalo shetani ametia ndani yenu. The thought believing that I know this word. Was zo kuamini kwamba najua neno hili go go speak outside nenda kaongee nje i bet you so many people will believe and think that they know the gospel is that right watu wengi watadhani wanajua injili si ni kweli they will say of course i am a sinner i am a human being kwa ujasiri wanasema bila shaka mimi ni mwenye dhambi mimi ni binadamu i think it was last week nadhani ilikuwa wiki jana one new madam came to our church Mama moja akaja kanisani. And then I told her. Alafu nikamwambia. Your sin problem first needs to be solved. Shida yako ya dhambi kwanza isuluhishwe. And so I asked her. Kwa hiyo nikamuuliza. Did you receive salvation? Ulipokea wokovu? And she said yes. Akasema ndio. I've been going to church for a long time. Nimekuwa naenda kanisani muda mwingi. Okay then are you a sinner or Bas, are you righteous? Basi wewe ni mwenye dhambi ama ni mwenye haki? Of course I'm a sinner. I'm a human being. Bila shaka ni mwenye dhambi. Mimi ni binadamu. Yes. Then why did Jesus come? Na mbona basi Yesu akaja? She even knew that Jesus came to this earth to save us from our sin as a savior. Na pia alijua Yesu alikuja kutuokoa kama mwokozi wetu. Jesus came to this earth as a savior, but are you saved from your sins? Yesu alikuja kama mwokozi lakini umeokolewa kwa dhambi yako? Yes. Ndio. Then are you a sinner or are you righteous? Wewe ni mwenye dhambi ama mwenye haki? I am a sinner. Ni mwenye dhambi. Then are you saved from sin? Umeokolewa kutoka kwa dhambi? Then no. La. You understand what I mean, right? Wale wanachosema. And then she come to she had to come to realize that ah, oh, I don't know this gospel accurately. Basi akapata kutambua sijui hii injili vizuri. Even starting from the time when you accurately realize that I don't know. Kuanzia wakati unapotambua vizuri kwamba sijui. This is the time that the, you are able to listen to the word accurately. Kutoka hapo ndio utaweza kusikiza neno kwa usahihi. When you listen to the word accurately, unaposikiza neno kwa usahihi, you are able to gain the accurate faith in your heart. Utaweza kupata imani kamili moyoni mwako. Then who is able to listen to the word accurately? Ni nani anaweza kusikiliza neno kwa usahihi? Yes, yeah, so those people who have accurately realize that i don't know the word accurately watu ambao wametambua kwamba sijui neno kwa usahihi this time pastor park he once again on a friday when he was preaching for the clf he spoke about preaching the gospel to the president john atamills wakati huu mchungaji park aliongea kuhusu kuhubiri injili kwa rais john atamills i knew nilijua I don't know very I don't know about this very well. Nilijua sijui hii hadithi vizuri. The moment on Saturday on Friday he said I went to Ghana. Aliposema uh, nilienda Ghana. I lifted my pen. Nikainua kalamu yangu. And then I began to write down Nika, everything he says. kuandika kila kitu alichotaja. This Friday when he preached about uh, preaching the gospel to Ghana president. Ijumaa hii alipohubiri kuhusu kumhubiria rais wa Ghana. 
I was able to hear for the first time that it was it happened in the year 2012. Then Pastor Park spoke about year 2012 for the first time. No, he mentioned about that many times, but I couldn't hear it. I felt like I was listening to that story of preaching the gospel to the president, John Atamis, for the first time. The word was very new to me. I began to write down. Oh, this is how the president receives salvation. Oh, after he preached the gospel, four hours later, he went to be with the Lord. Uh, her, excellence sent, sent, her excellency sent her three vehicles to go and pick Pastor Paul. Ah, Bibi Araisa lituma magari matatu kuenda kumchukua Araisa. Ah, she went together with the two gracious choir members. Alienda pamoja na wana gracious wawili wa imbaji. And then they sang the song. Alafu wakaimba wimbo. Yesu dame, Yesu dame, Yesu dame. At least you have to know this much. If you want to say that you know this story, Sindio. Angalau hiyo ujue hapo, Sindio. He said, up to Yesu. I don't know, Pastor. Siseme, hivyo vile mesema juju. Everyone, do we really know? Kweli tunajua? Do you know the story about John Choi? Unajua hadithi ya John Choi kweli? Let me ask you. Nikuulize. What year did that happen? John Choi comes from which country? John Choi anatoka nchi gani? John Choi, when he first went to the hospital, what was his blood pressure? Alipoenda hospitali, joto la mwili likuwa nyuzingapi. As he was dying, as he was dying, alipokuwa nakufa, whom did he miss the most? Alimkosa nani zaidi? Which word, which word did Pastor Park spoke to John Choi. Now John Choi has how many children? Now John Choi, he is ministering in which country and which city? Everyone, can you answer all those questions? But we vaguely think, I know. I know it's like a virus. Najua ni kama virusi. Satan doesn't tell you, don't listen to the word. Shetani hakuambi, usisikilize neno. Don't listen to the word. Usisikilize neno. Don't pay attention to the word. Usizingatie neno. Don't listen to that word. Usisikilize ilo neno. Satan doesn't deceive you in that way. Shetani hakudangani kwa njia hiyo. Satan deceive you in your heart by putting the thought, believing that I know the word. Anakudanganya kwa moyo wako kwa kueka wazo, najua neno hilo. Yes, that's why when you look at Matthew chapter 25 there's a story about the one who received five talents two talents and one talent and then he says Lord I knew you should we just take a look at that briefly Matthew chapter 25 Matthew 25 Matthew 25 Yes, the first 24. Let us read it all together. Matthew 25, verse 24. It's on the screen. Let's uh, use that one version together. Verse 24. Are you ready? Okay, yes. ready, go. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man. Ripping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. The one who received one talent, he says, Hey, Master, I know you. He lived with the thought, believing that he knows the Master. Because he believed that he knows the Master, that's why he never tried to learn and know the heart of the Master. He thought he knew. That's why he never even tried even to find out the heart of the master. But did he really know? 
Lakini alijua kweli? No. La. Verse 24 in verse 26. Ishirini na nne na ishirini na sita. The master comes unto him and says, You wicked and lazy servant. Bwana kamjibu akamwambia wewe mtumwa mbaya na mlegevu. And then he asks. Alafu akauliza. You knew? Ulijua? You knew? Ulijua? You thought you knew me? Ulidhani unanijua? What does that mean? Ina maana gani? You don't know me. Wewe hunijui. Everyone you think you, you know the gospel? Ni mwadhani mnajua injili? If you know the gospel you must say I am righteous. Kama mnajua injili lazima mseme ni mwenye haki. You think you know the faith life? Kama unadhani unajua maisha imani? If you know, kama uwajua, you should be rejoicing in all the situation of your life. Wafau furahie hali zote za maisha yako. You knew you that's why you're not listening to the word accurately wajua ndio maana hausikilizi neno kwa umakini Everyone when you listen to the accurate information unaposikiliza habari sahihi the accurate word will be will be giving you the accurate faith in your heart neno kamili litakupatia imani kamili moyoni mwako But Satan had put the disease in our hearts lakini shetani ameka ugonjwa ndani yetu What is that disease ugonjwa gani This is called I know unaitwa najua We all think I know Nyote mwadhani mwajua That's why we are not having the mind to listen to the word and try to find out accurate ndio maana hamna moyo wa kusikiliza neno na kutaka kujua vizuri. Even, even in the Bible. Hata katika Biblia. Even in the Bible. Hata katika Biblia. In the book of John chapter 5 verse 25. Katika Yohana 5:25. The most surely I say to you, the hour is coming and now is so when the dead will hear the voice of the son of God and those who hear will live. Amini amini nawaambia saa inakuja na saa ipo wafu watakaposikia sauti ya Bwana wa Mungu na wale wasikiao watakuwa hai. Ever repeat after me. Those who hear will live. Wale wasi Those who hear will live. Everyone who can live Those who hear. Wanaosikia. What are do you think you are hearing right now? No you are not hearing right now la hamsikiza you are not listening right now hamsikilizi sasa so if you are not listening kama hamsikilizi we will live what is the opposite of that tunajua kinyume na hiyo si ndio you will die mtakufa that's why your hearts are dying because you're not listening ndio maana mioyo inakufa kwa sababu hamsikilizi your hearts are dying of difficulties mioyo inakufa na hali your hearts are dying of difficult situations mioyo inakufa na hali ngumu ngumu your hearts are dying because of the sad situation mioyo inakufa your hearts are dying because of the suffering situation kwa sababu ya hali ya your hearts are dying because of jobless situation kwa sababu ya kukosa kazi your hearts are dying because of the difficult situation mioyo inakufa kwa sababu ya hali ngumu why is your hearts dying mbona mioyo ina Because you are not sharing the word of God. Kwa sababu hamsikii neno la Mungu. Yes, so you come here on Sunday. Mnakuja Jumapili. You come to sisters brothers meeting. Mnakuja kwa mikutano ya dada ndugu. You go to area meeting. Mikutano ya mitaa. But then you are not listening to it accurately. Lakini hamsikilizi kwa makini. Not listening to it accurately is Bina... as good as not listening to it at all. Kutosikiliza kwa makini ni sawa na kutosikiliza. Then why are we not listening to it accurately? It is because the Satan puts the virus in our heart. Believing that I know these words. Na hamsikilizi kwa sababu shetani ameweka virusi kwamba unajua neno hilo. Romans 10:17 it says the faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Warumi 10:17 inasema imani huja kwa kusikia Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Imani huja kwa kusikia. But you're not hearing. Lakini hamsikii. You think you are hearing. Mwadhani mnasikia. If you are really hearing. Kama kweli mnasikia. Then why don't you have a faith to the situations that you have in front of you? Mbona hamna imani kwa hali zinazowakabili? If you are worried, you are worried because you got no faith. Kama una hofu, una wasiwasi kwa sababu huna imani. Then why you got no faith? Bona hauna imani because hearing is not there in our heart. hakuna kusikia. Because of this small little thought of thinking that I know. Kwa sababu ili wazo ndogo kufikiria unajua. Is that right? Si ni kweli. Then what is hearing? Kusikia ni nini basi? Yes, a hearing kusikia is to listen with ears. Ni kusikia kwa masikio. But that is not everything about hearing. Lakini haitoshi hiyo. And also listen with eyes. Na kusikia kwa macho. Most importantly, listen with heart. Zaidi ya yote kusikia kupitia moyo wako. Everyone then who is able to listen? Nani anaweza kusikia? Those are people whose hearts are prepared 
to listen with a heart is able to listen. Watu ambao moyo wao umetayarishwa kusikia kwa moyo wako tayari kusikia. In listening there are five different levels. Katika kusikiza kuna viwango tano. One is ignore. The other one is pretend. Moja ni kupuuza. The other the other one is selective. Ni ni kuchagua. The other one is attentive. Ingine ni kuzingatia. The other one is empathetic listening which is a listening with the heart. Kusikiza kwa kutumia moyo wako. Let me explain one by one. Hebu nieleze moja kwa moja. Yes, ignore. Kupuuza. You don't even look. Hata uangalie. You don't even try to listen. Hata ujaribu kusikia. Whatever the opponent says, so you only speak about yourself. Unachoambiwa wewe unaongea tu yako. You understand, right? Mwelewa? Yes. If you think you are doing this, this Kama, is almost the level of being demon possessed. Kama una uko hivi, hii karibu tu na kupagawa mapepo. No, I'm telling you. Nakwambia kweli. When you deal with the people who are demon possessed, Uki, ukiona watu waliopagawa mapepo, they never listen to other people. Hawasikilizi watu wengine. They always talk by themselves. Wanaongea tu mambo yao. They only want to speak whatever they want to say. Wanaongea tu kile wanataka kusema. I don't know whether you have met such people. Sijui kama kuna watu kama hao. Some of you are like, yes, I did. My wife. Love. Yes, if you didn't hear that, let, it, let me just pass. <laughs> Number two. Number two. Pretend. Kujidai. Yes, so you look at each other, but you don't pay attention. Yes, so you look like a person who is listening, but... You are only thinking about what you are going to say back. Unajifanya unasikiliza lakini unasubiri ujibu lako. Do you feel like you are one of them? Unaona kana ni mmoja wao? Especially when you are talking with a husband and wife, right? Hasa hasa mume na mke, si ndio? Hey, honey, why did you do this? Do this, do this. Ah, mpenzi, mbona umefanya hili na hili? After he's done, how am I going to defend myself? Acha nifikirie vile nitajilinda hapa. Number 3, selective listening. You try to listen, but you pay attention to the things which you are interested in. If you are not interested or disagree, you ignore it. You are listening to the opponent, but you reflect on the word to your experience and your own judgment. And if it matches you, you would receive and if it doesn't, then you would reject it. Unasikiliza watu, lakini unalinganisha na hali yako. Ikikubaliana, unakubali, kikata, unaacha. You are selecting what you are going to listen. Unachagua, utakalosikiza. Attentive listening. Kusikiliza kwa makini. You look at each other and listen as you respond to the conversation. Unamuangalia na unasikiliza katika hali yako. You are listening to the opponent with your heart, but not thinking deeply about what that opponent is saying. Unamsikiliza na moyo wako, lakini haufikiri kwa undani ya nachukua. Then how can you truly be a listener? To have the empathetic listening. Listening with your heart. Then how can you be a person who can listen with your heart? You try to understand the feeling and the situation of the speaker and listen and answer from the speaker's position. The best level of listening they listen with the position of the heart and then my opinion and judgment could be wrong. Kevin, this is very important. Yes, let us read that uh, sentence to some sentence here. all together. Are you ready? Okay, ready, go. Best level of listening. They listen Yes, listening with a heart that my thoughts, my judgment, my experience, I could be wrong. Unasikiliza na moyo kwamba mawazo yangu, ujuzi wangu, uhukumu yangu, naweza kuwa nimekosea. Yes, so those are people who can have the best listening. Watu ambao wanakusikiliza bora. Yes, are the people who believe that I can be wrong. Ni watu wanawamini, naweza kuwa nimekosa. And then you are able to Listen from the speaker's position. You can also listen denying yourself. Yes, yesterday, Jana, we had a youth meeting. And then they gave me a topic to speak about. Yes, the topic was how can we be the successful people? And then usually when people give me the topic, 
Watu wanaponipa kichwa kama hicho Yes, I, I talk regardless of the topic. Yes. In order for you to become successful, you need to listen to the word. You understand what I mean? Right now, you got to know, I am not listening to the word. Truly, I am the person who is not listening to the word. When you accurately realize that, when you accurately see your image, how you are a person, how you are not listening, then you are able to enter into the level of listening. Let me tell you this one story. There was a one person who said, it takes three years to speak and 60 years to listen. Yes, so you might wonder, why does it take 60 years to listen? Yes, for that person, it took him 60 years or two to learn how he was the person who was not listening and how he was not listening with empathetic listening. And he is none other than and the, the chairman of uh, Samsung company. And so in 1993, yes, so that is the time when he was 60 years old. He visited Los Angeles in the U.S. because he heard that Samsung is being sold very well. When he went, he couldn't find any Samsung products on the shelves. He only found the Japanese products. He was so disappointed. And so, you know, he decided to go to Japan to see what the difference was was akaamua aende japani ajue tofauti kwa api so when he went, he realized that everything was the same. Even the equipment was the same. Technology was the same. But he could not understand why Japanese electronic products are doing well. Why, you know, Samsung is not doing well. But he found and realized one thing. Japanese electronic companies Everything electronic. was the same with the Korea company. Kila kitu na cha Korea. There was one thing that was different. Moja. Japanese companies, so they were inviting the prominent people and sometimes and the restaurant chef who has been chef for like 20, 30 years and also the blacksmith who has been the blacksmith for like 20, 30 years and the farmer who has been farming for 20, 30 years invited such people and made his employees to listen. Kampuni za Japani walikuwa kiita wataalamu wa fani mbalimbali upishi, uh, kulima, vitu kama hivyo kuongelesha watu wa kampuni kwa miaka 30 hivi. Watu so he, wa, wana ujuzi wa miaka 30. Yes, so he asked the top management, why are you having this kind of lecture time for your staff? They don't have time to do the work. They should do the work diligently right now. Why are you telling them to listen to these kind of lectures? Akauliza wa kurugenzi wa ku, mbona mnapatia watu hata muda wa kufanya kazi ya wana, wasi you may not have been the chief chef. Labda wewe haujakuwa chief chef. But when you hear the experience of being the chief chef for 20, 30 years, then that experience of 20 and 30 years can be yours. Lakini ukisikiliza ufahamu na ujuzi wa miaka salasini ya chief chef, utaweza kuifanyi wea. Is that right? Sinikweli. Is that right? Sinikweli. You have not been on the blacksmith. Haujakuwa blacksmith kwa miaka hiyo yote. But if you listen to the stories of what kind of experience that they have gone through, then that 20 and 30 years of that blacksmith experience can also be yours. Lakini ujuzi wa miaka salasini ya msini ya huyo mfuaji wa chuma inaweza kuwa yako. Everyone also when you are doing for the farming for 20, 30 years. Na ukifanya ukulima kwa miaka msini salasini shirini. As you have been doing the farming for 20 and 30 years, there is a mindset that you are able to form. Is that right? Unapofanya ukulima miaka shirini salasini kuna ufahamu 
ufahamu unapata you are able to hear that and make it yours unaweza kusikiliza hiyo na iwe yako that's why we are having these sessions ndio maana tuna vipindi hivi ah the only thing that was different was this tofauti kumbe ni moja hii he returned to korea akarejea korea and then in 1993 september alafu mwaka wa mwezi wa 9 samsung's new business management slogan was change everything other than your wife and children Samsung wakawa na mwitikio mmoja wa biashara badilisha kila kitu you need to be changed badilika you need to change unafaa ubadilike in order for you to be changed ili ubadilike you need to listen unafaa kusikiliza turn to your neighbor and tell them in order for you to be changed you need to listen you need to listen from then on toka wakati huo he invited the famous people for the lecture. Akaalika watu mashuhuri kutoa. And then he made a management to listen for 12 hours, sometimes even 18 hours. Akaita hata wakurugenzi kusikiliza masaa 12 saa nyingine masaa 18. Amazingly, jambo la kushangaza. Amazingly, jambo la kustaajabisha. It's not that he changed the equipment. Si kwamba alibadilisha vifaa. It's not that he changed the machines. Si kwamba alibadilisha mashine ya kazi. He taught how his management can listen. Aliwafunza kusikiliza. And Samsung began to change. Samsung ikaanza kubadilika. And then, halafu, now Samsung Electronic Electronic Sam- Companies two times uh, larger profit of nine Japanese electronic companies at it all together. Sasa Samsung Electronics ina faida mara mbili ukijumlisha kampuni tisa za Japan pamoja. One reporter asked kuna ripota moja kauliza How were you able to uh, make the company so big like this? Mliwezaje kufanya kampuni iwe kubwa hivi? He says I just received the compensation of listening. Ah, ni malipo tu nimepata ya kusikiliza. Turn to neighbor and tell them I just received the compensation of listening. <laughs> Then who can listen? Nani anaweza kusikiliza? I don't know. I don't know. Sijui. I think I know. Nadhani najua. But I don't know the story about John Choi. Lakini sijui hadithi ya John Choi. I don't know the story about John Atamis. Sijui hadithi kuhusu John Atamis. I don't know the story about though I'm sick I'm healed. Sijui hadithi kuhusu ingawa ni mgonjwa nimepona. I don't know about the life of faith. Sijui maisha ya imani. I don't know the spiritual life accurately. Sijui maisha rohoni kwa umakami. Sijui. I don't know. Sijui. When you have that posture of the heart of believing that I don't know. Ukiwa na hali ya moyo wa kujua kuamini sijui. Yes, from then on. Kutoka wakati huo. The word comes inside of your heart. Neno linaingia moyoni mwako. And then easily your heart can connect and become one heart with the heart of God. Kwa urahisi moyo wako unaweza kuunganika na kuwa moja na moyo wa Mungu. Let us open to fungue the book of Matthew chapter 7. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Verse 21. Verse 21. Not everyone who says to me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Si kila mtu aniambiaye bwana bwana atakayeingia katika ufalme wa mbinguni bali yeye afanyaye mapenzi ya baba yangu aliye mbinguni. Not everyone who says to me Lord Lord. Si kila mtu aniambiaye bwana bwana. Today is Sunday. Leo ni Jumapili. Many people will be saying Lord Lord. Watu wengi watasema bwana bwana. Lord Lord. Bwana bwana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the Lord Jesus. Today is the day that they call out the name of the Lord the most. The Sindio. Leo ndio siku wanaita jina la Yesu sana. I bet it's somewhere. Nilisikia mahali. Yes, so somewhere right now in Nairobi, you know, people are now calling out Lord Lord. Nilisikia watu sasa wanasema And then you also came today Sunday morning service to say Lord Lord too, isn't it? Oh, uh, never mind. So, they say Lord Lord. Wanasema bwana bwana. But what does the Bible say? Biblia yasemaje. Not everyone who says to me, "Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven." Si kila mtu asemaye, "Bwana, bwana, taingia ufalme wa mbinguni." Then who? Ni nani basi? Everyone then who can enter into the kingdom of heaven? Basi ni nani ataingia ufalme wa mbinguni? Who? Nani? 
Who can go to the uh, kingdom of heaven, everyone? Yes, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Number one. Number moja. Many people think because they don't open the Bible to know and learn accurately. Accurate information gives you accurate faith. But not many people try to open the Bible and check and confirm accurately. That's why they believe in their vague thought. Ah, if I say, Lord, Lord. Yes, if I call upon his name, then I shall be saved. But what is Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 is telling us? Not everyone not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Then who can enter into the kingdom of heaven? But he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Say my amen. amen. Everyone who can enter into the kingdom of heaven? Yes, he who does? Yes, that's very good. Up to there is very good. Number two. Then. Then. Then do you know the will of my Father in heaven? Yes, I know. His will is this. His will is that. Don't tell me like that. Tell me accurately. Accurately. Are you sure that is really the will of God? Are you sure? I told you accurate information gives you accurate faith. Are you sure that is the accurate information? For accurate information, you must be able to say the will of my Father in heaven according to the Bible. If it's not in the Bible, you should not even consider it accurately. 1 Thessalonians 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 it says for this is the will of God this is the will of God. Everyone repeat after me. This is the will of God. Everyone, this, the Bible is the accurate information. Your thoughts, your assumptions, your experience, what you heard, they are not accurate information. Everyone, you should know Accurate information. Accurate information is only the scripture, the Bible. And the first Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 says, Everyone, this is the will of God. It is for your sanctification. For you to be sanctified. Sanctified. My will is for you to be sanctified. Everyone, does your Bible also say that too? Turn to your neighbor and say, My will. It's for you to be sanctified. It's for you to be sanctified. Then let's think about the word sanctification. On the Google dictionary, you search. Not now. Not now you focus on the sermon. On the dictionary, sanctification, it means to be holy. Every repeat after me. Sanctification. Sanctification. Holy. Holy. That's what it means. You understand, right? Sindio. Yes. Sindio. So if you are the one who is, who have done the will of God, then you got to be sanctified. You got to be holy. Then what does holy mean? Holy means a state with no sin at all. Can you be holy while you still have sin? 
Uwaweza kuwa mtakatifu ukiwa na dhambi? No, right? Hapana sio. What does he mean by holy? Ina maana nini? A state where you have no sin at all. Hali ya kuwa hauna dhambi kabisa. Every accurate information from the scripture and the Bible gives you accurate faith. Habari kamili kutoka kwa Biblia maandiko inakupatia imani kamili. We need to know how I can be then sanctified and holy. Tunataka tujue tutaoshwaje tuwe watakatifu. Hebrews 10. Waibrania 10. The only accurate information is the Bible. Habari kamili peke yake ni maandiko. Verse 9. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 9. Waibrania 10:9. Then he said, "Behold, I have come to do your will, O God." Ndipo aliposema, "Tazama, nimekuja niyafanye mapenzi yako." Who is that I? Jesus. Yesu. "Behold, I have come to do your will, O God." Tazama nimekuja kufanya mapenzi yako o Bwana. He takes away the first that he may establish the second. Aondoa la kwanza ili kusudi asimamishe la pili. What is the first? La kwanza ni lipi? The first commandment. Amri ya kwanza. What is the second commandment? Ah, la pili ni gani? What is the second? Ya pili ni nini? The second is the command the new covenant. Ah, uh, ya la pili ni agano jipya. If I go into that then then it's going to get just too long so i will not go into that about the covenant sitaingia kwa mambo ya maagano yatakuwa marefu tena haya i am at the will of my father in heaven mimi naongelea kuhusu mapenzi ya baba yangu aliye mbinguni so he says hapo inasema i have come to do your will o god nimekuja kufanya mapenzi yako e bwana god i have come to do the will of god nimekuja kufanya mapenzi yako to accomplish the will of god timiza mapenzi ya mungu verse 10 sari wa 10 It says by that will katika mapenzi hayo by that will katika mapenzi hayo who is that what is that will hiyo ni maana gani everyone repeat after me that will what is that will by that will katika mapenzi hayo by God's will katika mapenzi ya Mungu we have been sanctified utakaso by the will of god katika mapenzi ya mungu by the will of god katika mapenzi ya mungu he has sanctified us that that's what it is talking about ametutakasa ndio inaongelea how vipi through kupitia we have been sanctified tumetakaswa kwa kupitia through kupitia how vipi through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ kupitia kutolewa mwili wa Yesu Kristo mara moja Jesus that I had the cross for the price of your sin Yesu alikufa msalabani kwa ondoleo la dhambi yes ndio by that body of Jesus Christ kwa huo mwili wa Yesu Kristo we are sanctified tumetakaswa how vipi once for all mara moja Two. Once for all it is talking about at one death of Jesus in a manner kwa kifo kimoja cha Yesu all the prices of your sins are paid of your past the present and future and that is all gharama zote za dhambi yako zimelipiwa za jana leo na kesho na ni kamili That's why in verse 17. Ndio maana katika mstari wa 17. Then he adds. Ndipo asemapo. Their sins and their lawless deeds I will remember no more. Dhambi zao na uasi wao sitaukumbuka tena kabisa. Everyone why did he say that he will remember your sins no more? Mbona akasema hatakumbuka dhambi zako tena? Because it is finished at once for all. That's why you have no sin to be remembered by God. Kwa sababu imekwisha mara moja hata milele kwa hiyo hauna dhambi ya kukumbukwa na Mungu. Even this is the will of God. Haya ndio mapenzi ya Mungu. Even what is the will of God? Mapenzi ya Mungu ni gani? Your success Ufa, uh, you being rich kufanikiwa kutajirika yes it could be so labda ndio but lakini his a real will mapenzi yenyewe his genuine and true will mapenzi halisi ya mungu is for you all to be sanctified ni nyinyi nyote mtakaswe and to accomplish that will of god na kutimiza hayo mapenzi ya mungu he sent jesus christ upon this earth akamtuma yesu duniani to pay for the price of your sin kulipia 
Deni Adam. And then she says, Alafu akasema, hey, your sins. Dhambi zenu. And your iniquities. Na uovu wenu. Lawless deeds. Matendo yenu mabaya. I will remember no more. Sitakumbuka tena kabisa. Oh, he says he doesn't remember my sins. Ana anasema hakumbuki dhambi zangu. He doesn't remember my mistakes. Hakumbuki makosa yangu. Why? Mbona? Because of the death of Jesus Christ. Kwa sababu kifo cha Yesu Kristo. No, understanding that. Na sasa kuelewa hilo. Knowing that. Na kujua hilo. Believing in that. Kuamini hilo. Is the one who has done his will. Huyo ndio ametimiza makosa. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Si kila mtu tu anayesema, Bwana, Bwana, ataingia. No how will you go to church and say, Lord, Lord? Hata uende kanisani vyema sana na useme Bwana, Bwana. That is not what guarantees that you go to the kingdom of heaven. Hiyo pekee haithibitishi utaingia ufalme wa mbinguni. What guarantees you going to the kingdom of heaven? Is your sanctification? And how can you receive that sanctification? Uh, by Jesus. He has sanctified me. By the will of God. Receiving that in your heart and believing in that. Everyone, if you agree on that, say my amen. Everyone, is that true? Even gospel we know accurately. Injili tuijua kwa usiku. Our faith life we don't know accurately. Our spiritual life we don't know accurately. That's why you have doubts in your heart. That's why when you try to live by faith, you have worries come in your heart. If you know accurately God is going to help you, why are you worried? You are worried. Because you don't know the word accurately. But no one acknowledges that I don't know the word accurately. They all live with the heart of believing that I know. That was the story that I read today in the book of Genesis chapter 3. Adam and Eve. Eve, she thought she knew. Hawa alidhani anajua. If she thought she knew. Hawa alidhani anajua. Satan came. Shetani akaja. That's what Satan is doing in our heart. Ndio kazi shetani anafanya moyoni mwetu. Hey if if. Hawa hawa. Did God tell you not to eat all the fruit of the garden? Bwana alisema msiyale matunda yote ya bustani. Everyone, Satan is asking because he didn't know. Satan knew, right? Alijua. Why is he asking? He wanted to knock on the door of Eve. In her heart. Whether she has the accurate word in her heart or not. Whether she knows the word accurately or not. Shaking up her heart a bit. Hey Eve. Did God tell you not to eat all the fruit of the garden? No. God has said. I can eat all the fruit the fruit of the garden. But of the fruit which is in the midst of the garden. God has said, you shall not eat it. You shall not touch it. Lest you die. Everyone, repeat after me. You shall not eat it. Nor shall you touch it. Lest you die. Yes. In the heart of Eve, she had the word. Give us the word on the screen. The Bible said, you shall. Uh, Eve said, you shall not. How alisema? Not eat. Is that right? And then, you shall not, nor shall you touch. Lest Msije, lest you die. Msije, mkafa. When Satan 
knock on the door of her heart, Shetani alipobisha moyo wake, this came out. Akapata hili. Everyone, is this accurate word of God? Hili ni neno sahihi. Is she knowing the Ghana president accurately? Anajua aditi ya raiso Ghana? John Choi accurately? Anajua John Choi vizuri? Is she knowing the word about the life of faith accurately? Nope. She doesn't know accurately. Hajui vizuri. Why? Mbona? Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. Mwanzo mbili kumina saba. Let's open it up. Tufungue. Genesis chapter 2 verse 17. Mwanzo mbili kumina saba. Let's read, it's on the screen. Let's read it all together. Tusome kwa bao sote. Ready, go. Okay, keep that scripture on the screen. Now, this is the word of God. What was the accurate word of God? But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall not eat. Not it is there, right? For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Surely die. This is the accurate word. Compared to this and this, does if in our heart has the accurate word, does she have the accurate word? Yes, this is correct. But is this correct? God did not mention about this. Mungu hakutaja kusu hilo. And then she said, lest you die. Alafu wakasema, msije mkafa. Lest is maybe you die. Msije ina mana labuda. Maybe gives you a 50-50 chance. Labda ina asilimia hamsini kwa hamsini. But here when you look at God, Ukiangalia neno la mungu, He said you shall surely die. Amesema mtakufa hakika. Does this word surely gives you any chance of living? No. No. This is a hundred percent. Hapuni asilimia kwa mia. So surely and lest. Is it same or different? It is different. Kuna tofauti. So therefore also this is not accurate. Kwa hiyo neno hilo pia si kamili. On the hourly, on the surface, Ukujuju, it seems like if he is possessing the word. Ni kana kwamba hawa ananeno. But is this accurate word? Like, ni neno kamili? You think you know John Choi, right? Mwadhani mwajua John Choi. You think you know the President John Atamiris, is that right? Mwadhani mwajua Rais John Atamiris. You think you know, though I'm sick, I'm healed, is that right? Mwadhani mwajua Ijafukwa na umu ni mepona. You think you know the death of Jesus Christ, is that right? Mwadhani mwajua kifo cha Yesu Christo, sinikweli. You think you know spiritual life, is that right? Mwadhani mwajua maisha rohoni, sindio? Everyone, because she was having the thought, thinking that she knows. Kwa sababu alikuwa na mawazo kufikiria na jua. She never tried to go to God to ask. Ask whether the word that I have is accurate or not. She didn't ask. Hakuuliza. And she didn't even try to learn. Hata hakujaribu kusoma. She didn't even try to find out. Hakujaribu hata kuuliza. Everyone, the story about President Jonah Tamirs. Hadithia Rais Jonah Tamirs. If you try to learn accurately, can you find? Can you learn accurately in one hour? Can you? Yes, you can. Dio unaweza. In one hour. Kwa lisali moja. You can learn accurately. Unaweza kujua vizuri. When? Lini? When you try to learn, when you try to find out. Unajaribu kusoma, unapojaribu. Every life of faith. Maisha imani. If you try to learn. Ukijaribu kusoma. If you try to find out. Ukijaribu kujua. You can learn and find out and your spiritual life can no longer be the same. Unaweza kujua na maisha rohoni hawezi kuwa vile. But I don't know how many brothers and sisters that they really try to learn and find out. Lakini sijui ndugu na dada wangapi wanajaribu kujua na kusoma. They're not interested in... Finding out and learning the accurate spiritual life. I want to have ya kujua maisha roho. I told elders like this. Niliwambia hivi. Elders. Waze. Surely God has the power to make all of you to become rich. Ah, mungu ana nguvu za kuatajirisha nini nyote? But he's not doing that right now. Lakini afanyi hivyo sasa. Why? 
mbona because he wants to first teach you faith kwa sababu kwanza anataka wafundishe imani Everyone, is that right si ni kweli because without even learning the spiritual life and learning the faith kwa sababu bila hata kujua maisha ya roho bila kujua imani all that can only harm your life hayo yote yatawaletea tu madhara for example kwa mfano i don't allow my son to drive mimi simruhusu mwanangu kuendesha. Without learning how to drive, if you drive, driving will only kill you. Bila kujua jinsi ya kuendesha gari ukijaribu kuendesha kutakuwa. You might wonder why God is not helping me. Unashangaa mbona Mungu anisaidia? No, God is helping you and leading you. Mungu anakusaidia kwenye. First to teach you the spiritual life. Kwanza kukufundisha maisha ya rohoni. But our brothers and sisters. Lakini ndugu zangu na dada. You are not interested in learning the spiritual life and the life of faith. Amnaje kujua maisha ya rohoni? Why? Bo, kwa nini? Like if kama hawa we all think I know John Atamis. Mnadhani mnajua John Atamis. I know gospel. Mnadhani mwajua I Injili. know Bible. Mnadhani mwajua Biblia. I know Biblia. John Choi. Mnadhani mwajua John Choi. I know spiritual life. Najua maisha ya rohoni. That's why. Ndio maana you don't ask to learn the accurate spiritual life. Hautafuti kuuliza kujua maisha. You try to learn You don't find out. Something like the word is there. Something that looks like the word is there. But this is not the word. Which means the whole thing is not the word. Therefore this word cannot work as a power. Everyone is that right? I told you that Satan was Satan was Satan was You see you don't know. Waona <laughs> mjui. I told you Satan was knocking on her heart. Niliwaambia shetani anabisha mlangoni. Does she have the accurate word in her heart? Ana neno la kweli moyoni mwake. Or does she have the fake word in her heart? Ama ana neno gushi ndani yake. Satan realized Shetani akagundua. Ah, she got the fake word of God in her heart. Ananeno bandia gushi moyoni mwake. Then I can deceive her and she will be deceived. Kwa hiyo nitamdanganya na atadanganyika. After verse 3. Baada ya mstari wa 3. After Genesis chapter 3 verse verse 3 baada ya mwanzo 3 3 after if she spoke of her heart baada ya Hawa kuongea moyo wake. And the Satan realized that she doesn't have the genuine word in her heart. Na shetani akagundua hana neno kamili moyoni. And yet if things she has the word. Na hawa alidhania. And yet if things she knows the spiritual life. Hawa anadhania anajua maisha ya rohoni. And yet she thinks she knows the word. Na hawa yuadhania anajua neno. And yet she thinks she know John Atamils. Na anadhania anajua John Atamils. That's verse 3. Twende mstari wa 3. Verse 4 comes right away. Mstari wa Then the serpent said to the woman. Nyoka akamwambia mwanamke. Right away. Mara moja. Right away. Mara moja. Those who doesn't have the accurate word in your heart. Wale hawana neno kamili moyoni mwao. Satan comes right away in verse 4 to deceive you. Shetani huja mara moja kukudanganya. That's why it is very important for us to come and attend Sunday service and every meeting so that you may learn the word accurately in your heart. Then who can learn the word accurately? Those who have realized that I don't know the word accurately. If you know the word accurately, then you can have the accurate faith to say I am righteous. If you know the word accurately, with no fear, no doubt, you can also accurately say I am rejoicing always. Bila hofu bila uoga waweza kusema ninafurahia. If you know the wote. word accurately. Kama unajua neno kwa ukamilifu. With no sadness and with no worries, with no misunderstanding, you can accurately say God is surely with me and he is going to help me. Bila hofu bila huzuni unaweza kujua Bwana yuko pamoja na mimi atanisaidia. Everything is that right. 
Sini kweli kila moja. I am righteous. Ni mwenye haki. That one you know how to say accurately. Ninyi mwajua jinsi ya kusema kwa ukamilifu. But for sure God is with me and he's helping me. You don't know how to say that accurately. Hamjui kusema Mungu yuko na mimi ananisaidia. Kwa mbona? Because you don't know the word accurately in your heart. Hamjui neno kwa ukamili mwenye. Not knowing the word accurately is as the same as not having the word at all. Kutojua neno kwa ukamili ni sawa na kutokuwa na neno kabisa. At this state. At this state. Katika hali hii, Satan comes right away now to deceive. Shetani huingia mara moja kukudanganya. If you don't know the word accurately. Kama hujui neno kwa ukamili. You got to know one thing. Lazima ujue kitu kimoja. Right now Satan is deceiving me. Sasa shetani ananidanganya. Because I don't know. Kwa sababu sijui. I must ask. Niulize. I must learn. Lazima nisome. I must find out about the accurate spiritual life. Nigundue kuhusu maisha rohoni ya kweli. Amazingly, jambo la kustaajabisha from that moment kutoka wakati huo you would even feel it in your heart utahisi jambo hilo moyoni mwako feel it in your heart utalihisi moyoni mwako that the word of pastor park is coming to your heart automatically kwamba neno la mchungaji park linakuja kwa moyo wako kwa on friday ah uh, ijumaa i listened to pastor park's sermon second kings chapter 5 with the heart that I don't know Second Kings chapter 5. Nilisikiliza neno la mchungaji wa falme wa pili tano nikiona moyo sijui. I was able to feel the word just coming into my heart automatically. Nikaweza kusikia neno likiingia moyoni mwangu moja kwa moja. The word was so sweet in neno my heart. Neno tam sana. That's why in the sisters and the brothers uh, chatting room I sent my short testimony, right? Ndio maana katika majadiliano ya ndugu nilituma I was really feeling that in my heart. Ah, this word is so good. This word is so powerful. Only one thing changed in my heart. I don't know 2 Kings chapter 5 very well. I don't know. Everyone, amen. Everyone, let's learn the spiritual life. Let's learn the life of faith. With the heart that What I know can be wrong. Tukijua tunachojua I don't know the word accurately. Tukijua hatujui vizuri. Even when you have that mind. Ah tukiwa na moyo huo. Don't even try to receive the word or listen to the word. Usijaribu tu kupokea neno kwa kusikijaribu kusikiliza. The word will be heard automatically in your heart. Neno litasikika moja kwa moja mwana. It's automatic. Nakwambia ni moja kwa moja. The word just gushes in your heart. Neno linabubujika tu moyoni mwako. When When you listen to the word with the mind that I don't know the word accurately. Unaposikiliza ukiona moyo sijui neno vizuri, sijui neno hili. Also tonight. Hata leo siku. When we have united service with Pastor Park's morning service. Tuna united service. I hope all of you can listen to that word with the mindset that I don't know. Natumai nyote msikilize leo siku ukiwa na moyo sijui. Don't even try to receive the word. When you have the mind I don't know, the word will just come in your heart and that word will start working as a power in your life. Sijaribu hata kusikiliza. Fanyeni tu kujua hamjui na mtasikiliza neno litaingia kwa nguvu mwana. When you experience that that spiritual life is so fun and exciting. I'm telling you. Ukihisi hilo maisha roni ni nzuri na kuvutia nawaambia. Let us close eyes and look back into your heart. Tufunge macho. How you have been listening to the word until now? How you have been living the spiritual life until now in the church with that mindset of thinking I know that small little thought that satan has put inside of you to make you believe like a cancer giving you the thought thinking that i know has killed your spiritual life and your heart until now that is like that cancer i know i know that word i know jonathan is that is like a cancer in our heart as you pray confess before god how you truly until now live the spiritual life with the mind the thinking i know I hope you can have quiet time with God just a brief moment.
Father God, we come out before you to confess truly how we live that spiritual life with that mindset and the thought thinking that I know. That that thought I know was like cancer in our spiritual life and in our heart and in our life. Satan unknowingly truly put that thought inside of us. Hey, I know this word. Hey, I know church. I know the servant of God. I know the word. I know spiritual life. I know the life of faith. Gave us that thought, I know, so that we cannot learn the true spiritual life. What do I know about John Atamir's death story? Truly, when I realized that I don't know, when Pastor Park once again on Friday spoke about John Atamir's, my ears became so big and attentive to that story. Ah, it did happen in the year 2012. Ah, 2,400 participants attended that world camp. Ah, this happened during the world camp in Ghana. Ah, he preached a gospel like this. Father God, when we truly realize that we don't know, the word can automatically come in our heart. Bless our brothers and sisters so that through this word that they may accurately realize that, I don't know, let the word come into our heart, O oh Lord. Let the word Work and bless our brothers and sisters. We give all this into your hands in the name of Jesus. We prayed. Amen. Everyone say amen.